When you're driving the back roads, you probably see nature and beauty. But we see deals. Oh, wow. This is amazing. I'm Marty Gable, and I've been in the antiques business for more than 15 years. They call me Bam Bam. I love hunting down mantiques and anything with wheels. Oh, holy moly! It's like we're inside a treasure chest. Although we may be opposites, we travel together. Hoping to attract the best in back road bounty. Marty, we're in for a little treat today. This guy reminds me a little bit of you. Not only does he have a ton of junk, but he's a garbage man. So I figure with me, cleaning up your garbage and left in the van every day, no matter what, one, he'll have a spot for me to put all your garbage, but maybe he can sell you a can. It's him and his son. They've got a ton of stuff. Okay. And they're looking to let it go. Well, you know I left a garbage pick. Oh, yeah. Back home this spring cleanup, I'm out, you know, a couple hours a day. I'm there in the morning, I'm there at dusk because people are fishing but in the trash, and I've picked up some really nice stuff in the garbage. So let's make a deal. We're going in today to a garbage guy's house, but we're not buying any garbage. Deal? No garbage. All right. Good morning, how are you? I'm doing well, thanks. Good. Bam Bam. I'm Glenn. Nice hey, to meet Glenn, you, Glenn. Glenn. Corey. My father and I are in the garbage business. I've been collecting this stuff for probably 50, 51 years. Going to see someone that deals with garbage, we know a few things. Their overhead is super, super low, and they see an absurd amount of stuff. Anything and everything you see here, we got out of the garbage. Okay? Sweet. Now, it may be garbage to some people, but to me, it's, it's useful stuff. You love garbage and hate to see it get thrown away. How do you feel about garbage? The more stuff that goes today, the better. Would you take offense if I called you the garbage man? No, no. no. My dad was a minister, and he always said, there's three things in life you have to get into. One, restaurant business, because people's got to eat. Makes sense. You got to get into the funeral business, because people are going to die. Yeah. yeah. In between eating and dying, they generate garbage. Perfect. And I hate dealing with dead people, and I don't know how to cook. <laughs> so so. You, put, you picked the right path. I, right. <laughs> Speaking of paths, Take me on the path to some I'll garbage. I'll take you to the path and I'll show you the garbage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what I like to hear. The garage is full of stuff. You can start there. Okay. <laughs> Sweet. Nice. Back to the rafters. Yeah. It was like two storage lockers full of goodies. It was borderline hoarding, but that's what we're looking for. I need a place to put my car away this winter. Oh, that's what I like to hear. I'll make a deal right now. You take everything, I'll pay for your gas coming down. Hey, you heard that, Marty. <laughs> My hopes were when they showed up that they'd take a lot of stuff out that, you know, we're, we'll, we'll never use again. I'm just trying to get a good look at everything right now before I start digging, because there's a lot of digging here. Oh, sweet Fram thermometer over there. Fram still sells oil filters, but their vintage thermometers are really collectible. I'm going to have to ask oh, them wow. that. I wonder if I should feel them out on price or make a pile. Maybe feel them out on price and then make a pile. Let's do that first. <laughs> yeah, good idea. Hey, Glenn. Yes? I see a Fram. It looks like a thermometer over there. Right? Is that another garbage find? I don't buy nothing. I find it in the garbage. I, I bring like it home it. and I put it up on the wall or do it on or whatever. Why do you keep the stuff you keep? Because it's interesting. It's from my age era. And it, uh, I realized when I was a child, we didn't have that stuff. And I think, oh, yeah, I can use that. So I keep it. What would you want to get out of that Fram thermometer over there? Probably 15 bucks. Oh, that's going in the pile. OK. As soon as I got my first price, I knew that this was going to be garbage pickup prices. And for Marty and I, those are getting a lot harder to find. Hey, Glenn. Yes? Is that for sale? Oh, yes. It looks like it's in pretty good shape. It works. It lights up. It does everything it's supposed to do, whatever. But uh... it, it does keep time? Oh, yes, it does keep time. My wife, Joan, had a uh, variety store in Sarnia, uh, Petrocamp. And when we remodeled, in behind the wall, there was a clock. Anything vintage Coke is super popular and collectible. It can fetch good money. How much do you want for it? 150 bucks. OK. $150 for something that you got for free in the garbage. The clock worked. We plugged it in. The light lit up. The hands went around. It kept perfect time or whatever. And we said, hey, that thing's got to be worth some money. I'd say that's a pretty good markup. Is that price negotiable? Everything's negotiable. OK. I'm going to think about an offer on it, but I do want to dig around here a little bit more first before we climb up on top of the fridge. OK, yeah, do your thing. Oh, there's comics in the top. I got to dig them over there.
I find a nice stack of comics, always gets me excited. There's a couple okay ones in here I'm gonna put in my pile. Anybody that throws a Chesterfield away, always look underneath the cushions. For I have money. found more money in Chesterfields and Chesterfield chairs than you can believe. Bam Bam does that every time he comes over to my place and loots the place. <laughs> when I'm at somebody's house, as soon as they go to the bathroom, I'm tipping furniture. Yeah. <laughs> what do you ask for old license plates? Oh, it's five bucks a piece. Five bucks a piece, a little rich. Five, ten, twenty. Take me an offer. Not, there's no pairs. I, I would probably only give you 20 bucks for that pile. If they were older, I'd be doing it. Deal. All right, Marty, did you go through those, uh, those comics? I did. How's it looking? I pulled out three that were worth grabbing. I'm coming in. I've got better taste. I'll well, find the treasure. Well, since you guys are here today, I'm going to go and contact my sister, uh, Shelly, and get her to come out. Tell her to bring some junk. My sister used to be a professional organizer, and I figured if anybody could help, it would be her. With these comics, some of the titles are OK. A lot of them are really obscure. Is this stuff, again, that you found in the garbage? Yep. yep. All right. I'm going to throw these in a pile, and we'll see what happens. Is there any Batman in there? Uh, there's a couple little guys. Can we get a call to Commissioner Gordon? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's kind of fun, the touch-tone phone. It's a good shape. I'm going to put that with my little comic pile over there. I haven't used that in 20 years. Old ammo box? Yeah. Not crazy old, but pretty cool. Did you find this one in the trash? Please tell me yes. Yes. Oh, God. Yes. We've got such good rapport. No, no ammo in it, no time bombs, no... Uh... That's all right. Ammo is just unsafe. Now, the box, on the other hand. Yeah. It wasn't super old, but it was in great condition. And it's not a size you see every day. What are we thinking? Ten bucks. Perfect. Threw him a great deal and uh, and left with an ammo box. If you're done in here, I got other uh, storage trailers and stuff. There's more stuff out the back, and you're more than welcome to go back out and see what you want. And is it more out. garbage? There is more garbage. Well, we couldn't get out of there fast enough and get into the trailer. All right, well, let's jump in. <laughs> oh, it's pretty full, right to the door. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, this is awesome. If you're done in here, I got more stuff out the back, and you're more than welcome to go back out and see what you want. Is it more garbage? There is more garbage. All right, well, let's jump in. Oh, oh. It's pretty full, right to the door. Oh, yeah. Man, this we're is due. awesome. We're due for another trailer. We should have brought our climbing gear. <laughs> where yeah. do you start? We've seen it, we saved it, and we brought it back here, and wherever there was space, that's where we parked it. Oh, almost walked past the boot. That's a sweet old feeder. All right, that's going in the pile. Hey, Dad, how's it going? Good, good. I'm getting rid of anything I can get my hands on. That is awesome. For the past 20 years, we've been trying to get you to get rid of this stuff. <laughs> Corey calls me, and he says, you got to get over here. They're coming to help Dad clear out some stuff. So I'm like, oh, this is awesome. i got to get there as soon as I can. We're here to help. Hi, I'm Dad. Hi. Hi, this I'm Shelly. This is my Shelley. daughter, Shelly. Nice to meet you. Yeah, it's nice, nice to meet you, too. Hey, I'm Marty. 50 nice bucks, take the whole lot. Yeah. Hey, you know what? <laughs> we'll find out where your brother is. <laughs> oh, it's old sign? No, it's probably just some sheet metal. Oh, no, it's a Coca-Cola oh, oh, sign. Oh, 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 Hang on, hang on. It's a Coca-Cola sign. Never wow. heard of it. It's tough to say how much that's going to clean up. It looks like it's 1930s. It's got good graphics on it. It is rusting out pretty bad, but I can still save it. How much do you want for this one here? I don't know. Make me an offer. I have no idea. Oh. Hold on. I'm not saying anything yet. What do you got? No, you make him an offer on that one, or I'll make him an offer on this one. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm looking at the Coke sign. You got all excited about the Werner sign. Werner's has a special place with just about everybody I've ever met. Well, you know it's in my family. I know. <laughs> about to be in mine. I thought, OK, this is great. I'm going to let you feel them out, because usually they like, you know, come in really low. What do you think about 70 bucks? Sounds good. John. You got her. But you came in really high on the oh, Werner sign. came in hot. And that one there is three times that. Still no moving parts. <laughs> I thought we were going to pay like $500 based on the size of the sign. I, I, I think Bam Bam just fell in love with that. I'm not going to triple my price on this one. See, see, Verner's is more rare than Coke. Right. I'll give you 75 for it. You got her. Okay. Done. Awesome. You got a couple coolers back here. Yep. Coke ones. Oh. Oh. That's too bad. There's Coke stuff everywhere, eh? So 
so this one looks a little better. Yeah, it does. Still, uh, I don't want to dump it right out. How's the bottom look there? It looks way better than the last one. You've still got feet on it. It's got some rust, but it's relatively together. Okay. Well, I sell them for 150 if they're mint. Okay. Because there's a lot of them out there, right? Uh, so I think I can only get about half of that out of it when I sell it. So I'd offer you 35 on it. You got her. Awesome. Done. Let's, let me grab the handles. You Whatever got it? you guys want, I'll carry it out for you. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Not a problem. Hear that? She's hired. <laughs> oh, hey, look it. Oh, that's nice. Brass stencil. Yeah. I'll probably set that in the pile just for thunder noises. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bam, man. Yo. Fire the hole. Yeah. Oh, oh man. man. There's your hand grenade. <laughs> Is it a lighter? Yeah. yeah. There we go. There you are. A little CAA motor leak. Double-sided oh. flange sign. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Very cool. When was the last time you saw that? I had to dig oh, hard. Probably about 20 years ago. Yeah. How much on this one? 20 bucks. Sold. Okay. Sold. Bam, bam. What do you got there, buddy? It's a little parking meter. Oh, and it's on the pole. Yeah, it's from the 50s. It's probably where you pay five cents for an hour. <laughs> yeah. So you know it's old. Yeah, well, Back yeah. when you could get a pop for five cents. Exactly. Or yeah. park your car <laughs> for an hour. It, it's probably still got pennies in it. What do you want out of that? Take me an offer. I. That's gonna be a garden ornament oh, for yeah, me. Yeah. And, you, and you know exactly what I'm gonna do with that. Yeah. So I'd probably give you 20 bucks. You got it. Done. Okay. Done. this stuff that I found, we already negotiated on. Right. So we've got yep. some prices. Yep. The Verter sign here. Yep. I got that for 70 bucks. I got a parking meter down there. It's from the 50s for 20 bucks. That's a great deal. Yep. The Fram thermometer, mm -hmm. a great piece. I use Fram oil filters myself. I got the ammo case. And it's not crazy old, but it's cool. It's a little smaller, so I could probably find a different purpose for it. Right. And for 10 bucks, that's a that's a sweet, sweet deal. The license plates, I grabbed a handful just for color. Nothing crazy old, right. no great pairs, but great plates, 20 bucks. And then I've got a couple things left that we didn't negotiate on. I grabbed, I grabbed some old comics. None of them are awesome, but some of them are kind of neat. Right. The uh, the stepping stool, any guitarist's best friend, and apparently mine. <laughs> And I've also got a brass stencil down there, which you just use to do lettering. You can right. clean it off yep. real easy. It's pretty light. And birdhouse. Super. There's oh, no yeah. chance of taking more stuff by chance? <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see what happens with that grenade, because I threw it in there, too. If I threw you 160 bucks on the whole pile, should be pretty good. Minus the clock. No, yeah, the clock. The clock, okay. it's almost time for him to cut a deal on it. <laughs> awesome. Deal. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for keeping him in line. All right, Marty. Uh, it's time. That's never gonna get old. <laughs> All right, so uh, we got the nice old Coke sign here. So, still looks okay. So we said 75 on that one here. Yep. And I told you 35, this cooler here. And this nice double-sided CAA sign here for 20. Yep. So I grabbed three fun comics. We got the phone. And then you wanted 150 for the Coke clock here. Right. I'll give you 150 for that, and you throw in these guys. You got a deal. Deal? Awesome. Ooh. Super. Screaming Everybody's deal. happy. <laughs> Everybody's happy. Thank you. No, I'm not happy. You guys didn't take enough stuff. I was just going to say, I'm not happy either. I still got to lift some stuff. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for having us, guys. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Thanks and, again. Uh, nice meeting you. Thank you. Thanks nice to meet both of you. Don't be surprised if uh, we show up in a big white van honking sometime. <laughs> Corey and Shelly, and, and I love them dearly, but they think everything I've collected over the last 50 years is nothing but garbage, because we're in the garbage business. But I just made $440 today, and I'm going to keep that $440 worth of garbage, and they can go find their own garbage to sell. It'd be great to be a garbage man. Right now, I just picked through garbage for free. And if we were garbage men, we would have been paid to take that stuff and put it in a trailer and then sold it again and made a few hundred dollars off it. We'd be men at work instead of just guys hanging out in a field.
and roll. Have a good one, guys. Hey, we made out like garbage bandits. Yeah, I know. We had picked garbage for years and years and just been piling it away. Yeah, something like the coat clock, for example. 10, 15 years ago when he's picking some of the garbage, that stuff wasn't collectible yet. Nope, it totally wasn't. But he had an eye for it and he knew it wasn't garbage. Yeah. It's, it's funny because what you and I do isn't too far off from what he does. No. And like people I know that inspired me when I was a kid, my older brother's an environmentalist, used to watch the garbage and pulled out some of the coolest finds I ever heard of. Well, hopefully we inspired him today to dig through there himself and pull out some of the collectibles and make a few more deals. Yeah. I cannot wait to get to Bill and Debbie's today and see what kind of treasure we have in store for real. We're going to their house, and Debbie says this is where her stash is. And that's the thing, we're looking for deals. When we dealt with Bill before, he was a tough negotiator, mm -hmm. right? 200 bucks for the pile. Mm -hmm. We need her nudging. I don't know what I'm gonna be up against today when it comes to dealing with Bill. Between the two of us, with me yelling and you whispering, someone's gotta be able to crack this code, man. <laughs> I can't wait to go see Bill and Ted today. I'm gonna get some awesome deals. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? Well, last time we were there, there was really tough negotiations. I see this stuff a lot in my industry. <laughs> this is something I specialize in. Friendly faces. There we are. You're back. We're back. Yeah. We're together again. We are so. Hey, Bill. Nice to see you. We're at Bill and Deb's, and we've been we've been with them before, and they had a ton of stuff, but they said there was a lot more here. Well, let's go. Let's go. I'm back here, guys. Bill knows where the treasure's at. Well, he does. He should. The treasure's it's everywhere. All over the place. No, here it is. Holy smokes, man. Bam and Marty are back. Yeah. We're together again. We are so. Hey, Bill, nice to see you. Yeah, they're okay to come back. We've been with them before and they had a ton of stuff, but they said mm. there was a lot more here. We got some stuff. Let's go. I'm back here, guys. Bill knows where the treasure's at. Well, he does. He should. The treasure's it's everywhere. All over the place. Oh, here it is. Holy smokes, man. This is layer steep. So, is everything in here for sale? For the right price? You got her. I don't even know where to start, do you? I'm just kind of going through boxes. There's a lot of newer stuff here. Here we go. The yes. Bam Bam, yes. right there. That was me pre-beard. Yeah. Yeah, there's a ton of stuff in here, Marty, but a lot of it is, you know, since the, the mid to late 90s. Like, Marty, Yeah. I'm seeing toy cars over here that to me, don't really mean a lot. Uh-huh. But I'm looking at the sticker price on these. And? $40 a piece. Yeah, but you know how it works with those, right? Some of them hold their value and some plummet, right? I'm a big fan of die cast, but that's a heavy risk on anything that big. There's a cool little suitcase. It's empty. I'll put that aside. Oh, look at that, buddy. The GM parts clock? That's really nice. Yeah. You can sell that anywhere. Yeah. If you're not going to make an offer on it, I will. See more Corgi limited editions, but I'm still seeing UPC codes. If it's got a UPC on it, it's mass produced. Yeah. It means they're tracking copious numbers. Yeah. And wasn't it the 90s with the internet, pretty much? No, they were using UPC codes in the 80s. Why did they bring them out? Any idea? Like, what's that What's that about? That's probably when they learned when they how just... to build a scanning machine to make it a lot quicker than t typing in a yeah. price. Just so they could track it better. Yeah. Before that, everybody was switching price tags to get a deal. To me, that means less rare. We're looking for older items. We're looking for things that weren't mass produced as collected. We're looking for treasures, mm. not collectibles. And there's a big, big difference. Hey, Bill, you around? So, are we going to find the older stuff if we dig deeper, or? Nah, that's... Because we're seeing a lot of new, newer items. Bam! Seven people shorter than me, some with beards. <laughs> hmm. 
<laughs> well, I think I'd be sleepy. I think you'd be sneezy. Which one would you be? I'll have to be the doctor, I guess. Fair enough, fair enough. Now, oh, he always wants to play doctor. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't with me yet. Thank God. Oh, yeah. Now, those are newer. My girlfriend likes Disney. Is it something you'd sell for 10 bucks for the seven of them? No, not no, quite that. not 10 bucks. No, no. They're not super old. They don't have the lady. I don't even know why they're smiling without their tall friend around. Yeah. I'd go up to 15, but that'd be my limit. No. OK? I was going to ask you about uh, the GM clock here on the wall. That's one of those expensive ones, eh? One of those expensive ones? Like $20? No. $20? No. How much is that one? Try about $175. Oh, OK. Eh. It's funny, because we came back because we thought we were seeing Deb's collection. And we point out a couple of things, most notably the GM clock. Yeah. And Bill pipes up and says, oh, that's mine. 175 Would you do 100 for it? No. No, eh? No. You won't take 100 bucks? No. No? No. Uh, that looks good hanging up there. Uh, OK. I would like to clear out most of this stuff, and he wants to keep most of it. Don't you dumbass. <laughs> We didn't know how it was going to play out, but we came to play. Mm -hmm. We came to win. Airplane. Okay, so we've got what, what's in my hand, what's in front of me, and a couple little small bits here. What are you offering? For all this stuff, including the suitcase? Yeah. $30. Oh! <laughs> you want just this guy? <laughs> I'll tell you right now, I can pick these out of thrift stores for 25 cents a piece. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh. I'll do 35, but that's about it. Otherwise, I'll just put it back in the box, and you can try and sell it to the next guy that comes through. I mean, it's not like everything's all complete or anything either, no. so. It does matter. Oh, OK, fine. You'll take it? Take OK, it. there we go. Is it almost time to make a deal? Almost time to make a deal. How much money have you got? How much do you want for this plastic clock that does nothing but bring back memories and possibly make noise? Make me an offer, and I'll see if I can stand up. Would you take 20 bucks on it? Give me 25, and you can own it. Deal. I got that for free. <laughs> <laughs> you do realize there's a whole other building, right? What? Oh, really? Yeah. There's more. So we go from, you know, this could be sparse to openly optimistic. All right. OK, guys, come in and have a look around. This room's not quite so oh, crowded. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's better. So we're busy rooting through the boxes in that little small room, not finding a whole lot. You do realize there's a whole other building, right? What? And then they decide to tell us that there's another space full of stuff. All right. OK, guys, come in and have a look around. Oh, yeah. Oh, better. honey, look at this. Now we're talking. I'm in pedal car heaven. Yeah, you love this set, eh? I more than love this stuff. Look at this Jeep. I was blown away by the amount of pedal cars and mini toys and license plates. Real serious collection. This is something that you go after. Yeah. Oh, There's yeah. some of these I haven't seen it. Like, that's a really, really good looking Jeep. That's off the midway. Really? He's collected these things forever because he's never grown up. But it's time to start moving some of it out. These are really collectible right now. Is that something you would sell? Only if the yes. price was. Now, <laughs> only if the price is right. Yes! <laughs> All right, so I'm going to you now. What's the price? What's the price on this Midway Jeep? No, 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 it goes this way. Mm -hmm. What's the price on this Midway Jeep? On a good day, you might get it for 1500 bucks. 1500 bucks. On a good day. I feel that's what it's worth. It's getting more few and far between that we come across mm -hmm. that amount of those toys and those treasures at that quality. They were all in great shape. Do you have wiggle room there? Because I would need quite a bit of wiggle room. Yeah, I wouldn't, wouldn't want to drop too much on that one. When you said $1,500 on a good day, you figured that's what it's worth. Yes. Like, have you done your homework to see if that's what that's worth? No, I've never. Or I, is that what it's worth to you? I don't know how to turn a computer on. OK. Ah. <laughs> All right. So, okay. so you don't know if it's worth $1,500 or $3,000 or $500. That's it's right. worth $1,500 to $1, you. $1,500 bucks to me. Yep. Okay, okay, so because we're looking at a collection, we're talking sentimental prices, and yep. we've got to have to pay those prices yes. to pry it away from you. Yep. Okay. He's attached to a lot of the stuff. What about this guy right up here? Oh, the Austin? 
When we were kids, the Ashleys wouldn't let us kids ride in because we were the bad guys from the other side of the river. <laughs> I, I find that hard to believe, Bill. <laughs> but, but, but I find see, it hard to believe. Now, now I end up with it. He had seen it when he was a kid. He was never allowed to touch it or play with it. And he was able to buy it back years later and put it up there on display. That's a pretty serious story behind that. So if you were to sell that, the price would have to be pretty high. Oh, yes. See, this one I like. It's fine. Yes. Probably 1960s. What's your price on that one? There you go again. <laughs> you want to spend big dollars, don't you? The price I is right. I would say 1500 bucks. So yeah. I'm going to offer you 500 for it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really want to sell that stuff. All those toys that were on the shelf and tucked away and, you know, kind of out on display in some cases, all had a lot of value to him. Up here I see the Super Sonda, which I believe is an overpowered Honda, because it doesn't mm -hmm. have a motor. Yes, yes. <laughs> I could probably do you a favor and get rid of that. Well, you're talking. Two and a quarter. He's just waiting for the numbers He's to land. He's still standing. I know, He's eh? waiting for the numbers to land, because there were so many of them. <laughs> 225 of them. You come up with 350 bucks, I'll get the last. Oh! So here it is. Baby's first scooter. You should buy it before I change my mind. I could come up to 250 on this. <laughs> you know how long I had stored up here? Too long. I was going to ask you the same thing, Bill. Do you know how long you've had a story yeah, up Yeah, well, there? the spider webs are still there. Yeah, there's a lot of them. <laughs> Come up to 300 bucks, and I'll let you have it. Other than that, I'll put her back up. 300 bucks. Not yet, Bill. Not yet. OK. I think I'm pretty firm on 250 for now. It's a great piece. Yes. But it's got a lot of wear. That's for me to sell want. it for more than 250 They call it patina now. They yeah. do. Yes. But I'm not looking for patina. I'm looking for pristina. 300 bucks is the best I can do on it. All right. This. While we let these prices percolate, why don't we take a peek behind that door over there? Door number two? And see what's going on. There was another room. Oh, this is it! Sweet, crazy man cave. We got shelves. Come up to 300 bucks and I'll let you have it. I think I'm pretty firm on 250 for now. Once we had the ball rolling again, there was another room. <laughs> this is it! Sweet, crazy man cave. We got shelves. It's more shelves. It's more toys. It's costumes. There are Barbie dolls. Tin toys. Collectibles. Milk bottles. Tin toys. Thermometers. Pop cans. Avon bottles. Wooden toys. Die cast. Pedal cars. Everything. What else is out there? Also tin toys. How about I just give you five grand and I'll just come with the truck and take it all? No, I don't think that'll quite cover it. So at that point, we realized we might be able to do some business in here. OK, if you don't know me, I'm a superhero geek. Well, the geek part I knew. These guys, when I was a kid, I played with. OK, so you got Superman, Robin, Green Lantern. Oh, he was my favorite. Ooh. There's Batman. He's my second favorite. Superman's my first favorite. If you had to rank them. The girl. Martian Manhunter. Awesome. Oh, and then Firestorm. Oh, He's really cool, good. too. So we got seven. Seven bucks each. Seven each, so that's uh, 49. Yeah. We'll round it up to make it an even 50, then. Whoa! Look at that. I give you more than you're asking. How often is that going to happen? Mm -hmm. OK, <laughs> so you give me a tip. Yeah, so like I'm in the twilight zone. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Awesome. Max Headroom, catch the wave. It's gonna, well, it's gonna go in the pile, and I'll just throw it in a pile of bleach, and we'll see what happens. Hold it. This too? Oh. The marmer still works. Yeah, yeah. 55 and 20 for the Santa. Sold. 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 Awesome. I just, everyone else is saying it. I'm trying to find a mini toy that has a mini price. <laughs> what do you got after this one? I would say you got to four bucks out. The best thing. No! Oh! <laughs> Cigarette paper dispensers. I, mm. I just sold one of them last week for seventy dollars. Also, Yo! sell that to you for thirty-five each. It's a little rich for my blood. I would go fifty on the pair. On the pair. We're only thirty-five dollars over here. 
Okay, I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. You'll take it? I'll take it, I'll take it. Done! <laughs> He's done! He saw the elbow coming! Quick, put it in your pocket before he changes his mind. I know, right? <laughs> How much do you want out of this guy, then? $65. Again, I would only go 50 on this one. It's 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 banged up. Come on, we're doing... Okay. Yeah? <gasps> now, there's that Tonka one up there you should be buying. This, this one here? That's the anniversary. It, it sure is. But it's an anniversary that I remember. Well, then you did better than him, because we had an anniversary last week, and he didn't remember. No! Oh, hey. yeah. You could take her on a cruise or something after that one. I'm still waiting for an anniversary present. But my birthday's tomorrow, so we'll see what happens there. No! <laughs> oh. This one's kind of neat. It's a little rough. As a prop, it's still kind of nice, though. What's a good one worth? Yeah. Probably in the $50, $60 mark, I guess. That's more like probably 20-ish for me. I mean, if you look at it, it's... Yeah, it's cracked. And... It's cracked, and yeah. the liner's almost gone. But it's good enough for a prop still. Is that good for you? Yep. Yeah, 20? OK. See this? Local dust, the Kellogg spoon. Oh, that's kind of cool. OK. Here's a cool little coin bank. Here, I'm going to put it right here with my other stuff. Nah! Remember the old Rumblers? Awesome. Another little Tonka. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, no. Did someone try and take Ooh. his ivory? Yeah. <laughs> Marty, this is cool. Smoke cool cigarettes. Men and ladies all agree. I'm going to make an offer on this. Oh, these are wild. Old hat stands. Looks like a helmet. Plain one. That's cool. And the skipper, too. That's kind of fun. That's really fun. Check out these. If there was enough room in here, I'd be rolling around in these. I see the Ecto-1 ah. from Ghostbusters. You and I both know a ton of people that are in for busting ghosts. Well, you know I love 80s toys. Look at that, eh? That's like 1940s, maybe That's early really, really 50s. Cool. That's amazing. And Jemima. What do you think, buddy? Should we start making a pile? I think so, because it's getting big fast and Let's... expensive fast. It's like a, like a tool cabinet here. It's a post office box. No, oh, dude, like that's this? right up your alley. It is right up my alley. Grab it in, let's put it right in the pile. Thank <laughs> you. Without asking? All yep. right. Straight to the pile. Coming up. You won't even notice that. <laughs> I've got a little bit of a package together. I'm just going to see how it hits you. We talked about the smoking tins. 50 bucks on the pair. We got the little cool match holder down here. The happy couple. Time to make a deal, 20 bucks. <laughs> awesome. The snowshoes, which you told me are bear paw style. Yes. This is where the magic happens, Bill. Last we spoke, you were at three here and I was at 250. And you're at three here. Yes. So there's about $100 in knickknacks there. I'm gonna hit you with a firm offer. Are you ready? Yes, please, prop him up. Anything over a thousand bucks, we can talk. Oh, I'm sure we could. You can talk for a long time at that rate. Anywhere in the world. But for now, I'm gonna give you a firm offer of $600 for everyone. You said 700, right? No, I said <laughs> 600 on everything. Which would put it 250, 250, and 100 bucks for the goodies. Can't go that low. I'll take 25 bucks off each of them, that's it. 275, 275. Yep. Oh, you're so close. Come on, guys. <laughs> so you're at 660 for everything. And I'm at 600. Yes. 630, and you've got a deal. Make it 650, and I'll feel bad about it. <laughs> Make it 635, and that's my final offer. 635 on everything, and that's it. If not, we'll dwindle the pile. We, we do see 675, right? No. Okay. no. Come on. 615. Come on. How much? 615. No, you're a lot <laughs> higher than that. 
Come on. I'm starting to wonder how high I am. <laughs> 635 bucks. Make it six for you. I need five bucks. I can't do it. Come on. I can't do it. I've got a little bit of a package together, and I'm gonna hit you with a firm offer. Are you ready? 635 on everything, and that's it. Bill's the tough negotiator. All right. Yes! Oh, what a wrestling match. Yeah! That was a heck of a dance. Cheer up, buddy. I know, I'm tired of just watching that. <laughs> okay, we started in the house. Yeah. We fought tooth and nail for $35 for the suitcase for the Fisher Price toys. So we worked that out. Okay. We're good there. Then we pulled out the action figures. You got a dollar tip on those. Okay. All right. Made big bucks. $50 each on the thermometers, $20 on the Santa, $20 for yep. the top hat. And then last minute, I thought this was just a tool chest until we turned it around and realized it was an old letterbox. How it much? For that one? Yeah. Now remember, you're $200. Gonna... <laughs> I'll no. give you $150. Okay, we got a deal. Okay. <laughs> How did that happen? Uh, real quick, get that. See, there's no fooling around. <laughs> all right, let's keep it going here, all right? Yes. There's a box here that's got some parts and pieces of Star Wars stuff. This box has some random comics in it. Oh, big bucks. Yeah. Big bucks? Here, I'll give it back to you if you think it's big bucks. How you like that? <laughs> there you go. Um, so we've got some Star Wars parts. We've got some odds and ends comics. We got Gilligan with his beard, and we got the Skipper too. I grabbed the Kellogg spoon just because it's a local piece, and we're from London. We got the Gumby movie and the Gumby soapy to go with my Gumby figures. I grabbed this trailer. Yeah, easy, oh, easy there, easy go. there. This would have had like a wagon or a truck to pull it. Yeah. But I like the trailer anyway. Okay. We got the Aunt Jemima notepad. No pad. We got a Ghostbusters car. We got the, the roller skate shoes. A couple uh, hat holders right here, the nice heavy wood ones. Got a brass blade fan. I grabbed this just for fun. Max Headroom. Yeah. It's pretty dirty. Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna bleach it and hope for the best, and I can wear it, because I grew up watching this guy on TV. And the last thing in this pile here is uh, the old leather elephants. Someone took off his little trunk there, but I like to see it brought back to life again. So we've negotiated on a lot of the bigger <laughs> items, and then there's a few things I grabbed along the way. On the rest of what's here, I think we're looking at $150. It's closer to $350. I'm telling you $150 for what's left there. This is a full project. Yes, but it's rare. Where have you seen another one like that? Here, take that then. <laughs> take that back. OK. And I'll give you $150 for what's left. Um, come up to $200, you can have the rest. All right, I'll do $200 on the rest of it. Ready? Set? Deal. <laughs> All right, it's done. No more changing Good. your mind. Good. <laughs> so we finished loading the van, but we're not quite done yet because something catches my eye. Something turquoise and awesome. Bills. Yours. This guy right here. Ooh. Whoa. 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 He wants the prize of the day. Get over here. It's a six cylinder Chevy, standard, three on the tree. What year? 70. Okay. How many miles? All of them. All, all of them. them. <laughs> and they're all on that truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, how long have you had it? Maybe. Two weeks. Two Whoa! Weeks. <laughs> Tell yes. me about the engine, though. It, it's a six-cylinder. It come out of a combine. A combine? Yes. Yeah. Yes, eh? Like a tractor? No, a combine. <laughs> it's a like completely a different farm yeah. implement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a city boy. Yeah. I know, I'm just joking. <laughs> it's, it's, it's kind of like a I farm know. tractor, right. but not really. The, the nice thing about it, there's no electronics. A lot of this stuff you can fix yourself. The parts are available. Yes. 
and uh, and it's got lots of space. Yes. And it's heavy duty. It really suits my style. It really suits my business. How much are you asking for it? How like get twelve out of it? Twelve thousand bucks. You'd like to get twelve out of yes. it. Yes. You're asking in the thousands for a couple of toys inside. Yeah. So your price on this doesn't sound unreasonable, but it's a little rich for my blood. Easy there. Let's face it, cars and trucks, they're his toys. I'm comfortable paying 10. No, can't, can't. I would take 11, not a penny less. But I'd take 11.5 and really twist my arm. That makes no sense. Does but... it not? <laughs> um, 11. 11. My cutoff is 10. Your cutoff is 11. That's right. <laughs> We're $1,000 apart. Yeah, we are just about there, though. So are you. Yeah, that's right. OK, we've got a pile of stuff, and a lot of it is just little bits and pieces that kind of added up. Mm-hmm. I'll give you 11,000 and you throw in that pile. Oh, no, 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 I can't, can't, can't. No, I can't do that. Can't really? Do that. Nope, can't. The kid needs a new pair of shoes next week. I'm gonna have to walk. I'm sorry, but I mean, that's as high as I can go. That's good. 10 was it. Yeah, that's good. But you know, basically what I'm doing is I'm coming up to like 10,300 or something. No thanks. Basically. No, thanks. But you won't come down no, and give us 700. No, 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 I won't. I'll well, that's too bad. I really wish we could make a deal because we're like this close. Yeah, You're I really, lost, my I wish you could make a deal too. <laughs> Bill is Bill, we know how he works. I'm not a hard guy to deal with. <laughs> Can I answer that? <laughs> I wonder if she's ever bought anything from him. I'd like to see that grudge match go down. <laughs> we're $700 apart. Yeah. 700 bucks apart. Yeah. See, they're thinking. Also, I'll give you 10.5. Including the pile. That's it. Yeah, because she's talking to him right now. Hey guys, what are you chatting about over here? What a nice warm day this was. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I think things got cold really quick. They did. They're a little frosty. Hell, yeah. hell froze over in about 30 seconds over here. Just that like 10 foot area around Bill. Yeah. It's always a little chillier when it comes to wheeling and dealing. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do 10 5 and pay for the pile. No. No, I'm stuck on 11. But You're really stuck on oh, 11. I'm stuck on 11. No, seriously, if I don't get 11, I won't sell it. I was not getting that car today unless I paid him full price. Yeah, if there's one thing Bill's a stickler for, it's sticking. I'm not going to just pull the trigger in the heat of the moment right now. Yep. OK, good Thanks enough. Thanks for trying. I appreciate it. Thank okay, you. Good. Quick to the Lamborghini. Bill, you gotta come down on your prices already. This is getting ridiculous. I honestly, if I was Bill, I would've caved. Like, really, he wanted $11,000. I kept coming up and up and up. I came up to 10 5 and he still said no. I don't think he really wanted to sell yet. I think he wanted to drive around for a little while first. He's a really tough negotiator, that guy. Oh, yeah. But those were great toys, man. Great toys. If there's one thing I love, it's pedal cars. And they're getting tough to find. I know. Except for today, when we get to the honey hole, where this guy has apparently been stockpiling all of them <laughs> yeah. for the last 50 friggin' years. Yeah. I'm surprised you got one, let alone two. I know. Because he did not want to part with them. And I didn't scare him off with all my yelling. No, you didn't. Which is rare. And we're going to keep the truck clean. All right. Hey, buddy. Hey, uh, have you seen Marty anywhere? What's going on here? Sweeping? Yeah, it looks awkward to see you clean. Like, it's really, <laughs> I feel like I'm watching an elephant fly or something. It's just super, super Whatever. awkward. Whatever. <laughs> Are you going to start cleaning the van next? The van is micro garbage. <laughs> micro garbage? You've got categories for garbage? I worry about you, buddy. Oh, actually, I want to show you something before I forget. What you got, fella? Remember we went to see Glenn? Yeah. The garbage man? Yeah. Remember I pulled out that big giant Coke sign? Oh, that's right, from the back trailer. Yeah, it was really rough looking, right? It was rusty, it was like bent in half and yeah. stuff like that. So 
I brought that back and I put some time into it and it cleaned up pretty well. So that's what it looked like before. Remember? Oh yeah, I remember that sign. It, it was just filthy and there was all the rust on the bottom here. So I spent about 45 minutes, bam. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, what a difference, man. Yeah. I thought it was just rust and stuff. A lot of it was just caked on dirt. I was able to get most of the rust off. Well done. So if you remember, I paid $75 for it because I thought that was as good as it was going to get, pretty much. Yeah. And I sold it for $175. Oh, that's awesome, man. I know. That's a pretty good markup. But I mean, you know, I put some time into it to get that, too. Yeah. But still totally worth it. Remember that Fram oil filters thermometer? Oh, in the garage. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Beauty, nice orange and black. Not crazy old, but everybody knows Fram. Yeah. A buddy came over and he was just kind of poking around at a couple things, and he saw that and right away. He's like, "I have to have it. I've got to have it for my shop." Okay. So I sold him for thirty bucks. Oh, really? And you got for fifteen? Okay, so you doubled your money. Yeah, and I'm trying to do that now, where if I do decide to sell something, I should be getting a good deal. I'm an experienced buyer. Yeah. I should be doubling my money. You have to. Yeah. Do you consistently do that? Is there times where sometimes you miss or? If it's a really big ticket item, like in the thousands, and I make like a 30 or 40% markup, that's still OK. Yeah. But anything around that price range, you have to at least double your money yeah. because otherwise you just lose your shirt. Exactly. So I'm going to try and put half of my profits away for Little Man. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to take the other half, and I'm going to go out and try and make it happen again. It's actually what I'm out doing now. Back road bounty, buddy. Sounds like a good formula. Awesome. If I find anything up your alley, I'll give you a shout. All right. And uh, do me a favor. <laughs> you missed a spot. You might want to get that. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> See ya. See ya.